Hi guys, this is Rack and Load and this is the Webtac shotgun from Turkey. Semi-automatic, box fed, 10 round mag. Oh yeah, gotta be done. Uh, running open sights on this, this is pretty much straight out of the box, this thing is. We're just gonna run it on some steel. It's got steel set up here, there and everywhere. Got the head cam as well, so I'll try and get some interesting footage. Gonna be putting mainly sort of bird shot through it. Um, I've got a bit of buckshot uh, and I've, I think I've got about half a dozen rounds of slug. I'm running low on ammo. So, um, so we'll see how this thing runs. Um, but first impressions, I like it. I like the feel of it. I mean, I own a, a Typhoon F12, but I do like the feel of this. It's got, I don't know, it seems slimmer than the F12. I don't know whether you can sort of see. I've not got the F12 with me to sort of compare it, but when I do the full review of this, I'll put them both on the table and we'll sort of compare them but this feels quite good um I've, like i said i've not run it yet so this will be the first run and you know you'll what happens is what you'll see um you know i'm not going to give you any bs guys you know me by now um unbiased totally independent review um so but i'm hoping this thing runs really well because it really does feel good so one way to find out. Let's do it. So let's load up. Okay then guys, I'm just gonna be running some uh, heavy game rounds through it um, to start with. I find that in these sort of shotguns, uh, the, the high base um, cartridges tend to work better. Um, and obviously sort of heavier, heavier loads tend to run a bit better, you know, to give it a bit of, bit of welly to sort of cycle the action. But in my experience, putting anything lower than um sort of 32 gram through uh, they tend to choke up a little bit this these type of shotguns do um so i'm just going to run some pretty decent stuff through it see how it runs you know um got these mags are a little stiff it's the newness um yeah. people are like why are you wearing gloves, Rack? Well, this is the reason why I wear gloves. <laughs> He's loading mags up. After a bit, when you're doing it sort of all day long, like I am on a busy test day, you tend to start shredding your hands after a little bit. And not to mention that, I have to, you know, uh, move gongs about as well. Um, and they can be a little sharp at times, especially the, uh, the chains that I tend to shred after a, a day's shooting. I've lost count now, guys, for how many I've put in here. I think that might be it, to be fair. Looking at the mags, um, there's no... Well, the first thing to notice about the mags, there's no sort of hole where you can sort of see, or holes, where you can see where you've uh, loaded them up fully. So you've got to count, or just wait until they don't go in anymore. I think that's probably it, guys, to be fair. So... We'll see how that runs anyway. So, let's do it. Okay then guys, mag dump with the web tack. Yeah baby. Kicking up dust. That ran well. Bolt don't lock open though. Uh, but apart from that, that runs nice. It runs nice.
Get in the web tack, hot. That is hot. So far, no issues. I'm liking this, liking it. Pretty much minimalistic, no bells and whistles. It runs nice, really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna run some slug through the uh, web tack. I've only got three three rounds left though, because I've used a bit up on a on another shotgun. Uh, but we've got a gong over there set up at, well from here it's about 50 yards, so we'll see if we can connect. Hopefully we can. Um, no, I won't do any funny editing to make it look like I have. But let's let's see how it goes. <sighs> Little line. Ah, uh, one shot left. Yes, and I've destroyed my gong in the process. Well, I've destroyed the chain anyway. <laughs> cool. I'm impressed. I am impressed, guys. This thing is uh, pretty damn cool. I've had no problems with it at all. Yeah, I've put about, well, so far, 200, 250 rounds through it. Bit of everything. Um, running sound. 